Well, hello, 1 p.m. How y'all doing today? Uh, we're going to be talking about multiplying monomials. Uh, our goal, I know the rules of exponents, and I can use them to multiply two monomials together. So we're talking about the product of two monomials. Now, uh, uh, sometimes you guys forget what these words mean, but when we say product, product is a fancy word that means multiply. So we're going to multiply two mon monomials and before we can multiply monomials we have to remember what powers are. So we're going to do a little review of powers uh, and remember that an exponent is a way of representing repeated multiplication. So here we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now if I'm going to write this as an exponent I write the base. The base is what's being multiplied and then I count how many times it's being multiplied. One, two, three, four, five. So this is two to the fifth. Uh, when we write this with an exponent we're finding a power. So this whole thing is called a power. A power consists of a base and this is my base, base, and an exponent and that's my exponent. Okay. So I already sort of told you about that. You've kind of had it recapped twice there now. The base tells us what is being multiplied and the exponent tells us how many of them we have. Exactly what I said when I wrote it down up here. Okay, let's keep going. Example, write each repeated multiplication as a power. Okay, I'm gonna pull that down to there. Um, it would be a good idea if you paused me right now and answered these questions yourself. Did you pause me? If you didn't pause me, you need to pause me right now and answer these questions yourself. If you did pause me, I'm going to go on right now and you can see if your answers are correct. So look, we have three threes. Okay, so we're multiplying threes and we have three of them. So that's three to the exponent three for this one in particular. Now, what are we multiplying in part B? We're multiplying fives, so five is the base. Now we have to count how many of them there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven fives. So we need an exponent of seven. Now, oh dear, we've got x's. We're multiplying x's. How do we multiply x's? Well, you multiply x's the same way you multiply um, these up here, except for these ones we could actually get an answer. I know that three times three times three is actually 27. I don't know what x times x times x times x times x times x times x is. Okay, but <clears throat> before I didn't care if that was 27. I wanted it written as 3 to the 3. And so when I have unknowns, when I have x's, um, that's all I care about too. I don't care what the final answer is. I just care about writing it more simply as a power because this is much easier to write than this. This is much easier to write than this. So what's being multiplied? we're multiplying x's. How many times are we multiplying them? Well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is x to the exponent 6. Now, I don't know what x is. I can't evaluate this. This has no me no number attached to it just yet. But if I told you that number was 2, you could calculate what 2 to the 6th was very easily. Or if I told you that that number was 3, you could calculate what 3 to the 6th was very easily. So x is a stand-in for these numbers, or maybe not these numbers. It might be something completely different. It's a stand-in for any number. Uh, but the rules are still the same as far as putting them in to power form. So what else have we got here? Uh, write each power as a repeat, repeated multiplication. Once again, I want you to put me on pause. Did you pause me? put me on pause. Okay, um, if you put me on pause we're back again and this should say 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 because I've got 7 is my base, that's what's being multiplied, and I need 4 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this one tells me I'm multiplying 5's and there are 2 of them, so 5 times 5. Notice I'm using brackets instead of multiplication symbols here. That's how I prefer it uh, because multiplication symbols look too much like an x. And down here, if we tried to say x times x times x times x, 
that looks crazy. So that's not the way we do it. Most of the time we're going to use brackets and say this is x times x times x. How many do I need? Four of them. So I need one more. x. Whoops. There, it's back again. Uh, okay, I'm just going to delete all of this stuff on here. And we're going on to the next page. Okay, multiply monomials. A monomial consists of a coefficient and variables and an exponent. Okay, so this is called a monomial. And this monomial is actually just a whole bunch, and we talked about polynomials. Well, this is only one term. And this thing here means 3 times x times x. Now notice the x's here can be written more simply as this um, power and then the 3 just rides around out front. Okay. So it consists of a coefficient, a variable, and an exponent. So, oh, I got nothing there. I got to write them in. This is the coefficient. That 3 out front is the coefficient. Um, this x is our variable. And on that variable, we have an exponent. That doesn't say exponent. Exponent, I got an extra O in there. Exponent. There we go. When we multiply two monomials, it is important to remember that Bedmus tells us we can multiply in any order we want. So I can swap things around in any order I want. Look, this is going to give us a rule. What's our rule here? We're going to multiply these two things together. Uh, oh, let's actually discover that rule. Um, I can multiply in any order I want. Uh, so what this actually means is 2 times x, it's all multiplying, times 4, and times an x, and times an x. Okay, and I can multiply any order I want, so I'm going to choose to multiply 2 and 4 because I know how to do that. That's pretty simple. So I'm going to multiply the 2 and the 4 together first, and then I have these three x's. So I'm going to multiply x times x times x. Now, 2 times 4 is easy. I can do 2 times 4 is 8. These x's are a bit of a problem, but not much of one. I've got three x's, so I'm just going to write that as x cubed. So if you look at it, I'd rather not do that stuff in, in the middle there. I'd rather just go from here straight down to here. And this rule over here tells us that. If you take a look, I just multiply these two things together to get this. And then I saw how many x's I had. This bracket has two x's and this has one x. And so if I have two x's here and one x here, when I multiply them all together, I'm actually multiplying three x's. So I can write that as the power x cubed. And so that is actually the rule. The rule here says multiply coefficients and add exponents on the variables. Remember, if there is no exponent on the variable, it is actually 1. So I can simply just add them. I've got 1x here, which the exponent doesn't say that, but we understand it's there, and 2 here. So I've got 3 in total. <clears throat> Multiply the following monomials. Gladly. Okay. I've got 1x here and 3x's here. That means in total I have x to the fourth. Over here, I've got some coefficients. I've got a 4 and a 6. The 4 and the 6 is pretty easy to handle. That's 24. Oh, for some reason, this is slowed down. 24. And how many x's do I have? I got 2 in this bracket and 3 in this one. So 2 in this bracket and 3 in this one means that I have 5 total. So x to the exponent 5. Oh, now I've got three things being multiplied together, but that shouldn't bother me. It's exactly the same. I'm going to choose to multiply the coefficients first. So I need 2 times 3 is 6, and then times 2 is 12. So I get 12 for my coefficient. And what do I have for x's? I've got 1 in this bracket, 2 in this bracket, so that's 3, and 6 in this bracket, so that's x to the ninth. Now, when you're multiplying, notice that your exponents actually change. I've got different, ex different exponents here than I did have 
when I started with. Now notice that's not the case if I have something like this. 2x to the fifth plus 3x to the fifth. Now this is a plus. Very different than multiplying. So a plus is not multiplying. Now I'm pointing this out, it won't come up in your homework, but I'm pointing this out because people have an issue with this. This is collecting like terms. This is governed by our rules for collecting like terms because it's a plus. This over here is multiplying. So it has a different set of rules. If I'm putting this together, I would say, I've, oh, I've got x to the fifths here and x to the fifths here, so I can put them together. In total, I have 5x to the fifths. Okay, that's when we're adding. Or if I had something like 2x squared plus 5x cubed, I can't just add those together because they're not the same. I've got x squared and x cubes there. They're not the same, so they cannot go together. Cannot be simplified. Now, on the other hand, if I were multiplying 2x squared times 5x cubed, that's entirely different. This is multiplying. This is adding. I can multiply these things because it's a whole string of multiplying, so I can choose to multiply the 2 and the 5 and get 10. And then I multiply my x's together. I've got two x's being multiplied here, three x's being multiplied here, so in total I've got x to the fifth. Now, this one we can't, can't simplify because the terms are not the same. Over here, terms don't have to be the same in order to multiply. Uh, and that concludes this lesson.